all of my quilting friends. Happy Feature Friday, everybody. It's so great to have you guys here with me again for another week. Hope y'all have some fun weekend plans ahead. I am working on the little quilt that we looked at last week where we set up an edge to edge design and we are working on nesting now so we can get that all completed. I did get a little excited and already nested one row and thought, oh my gosh, I have to show everybody how to do this. So I have two rows on here and we're going to go ahead and nest. So I'm going to turn you around so you can see what I've got done already. And then we're going to go to the robotic system and nest our next row. All right, so here is my first row up here. And then here is my nested row. And I think this is turning out really cute. I'm very happy with it. So we are ready to nest again. And what my robotic system looks like is this. So this is the row that I just stitched out and it ended all the way over here where that little red square is. And that is down here on my quilt. So we are ready to go with our nesting. Now when you are in your home screen, and that's where you are when you're stitching out, when your row finishes, your nesting is right here. It's these little hearts that are down at the bottom on the right hand side of your display. And when you hit your nesting feature to engage it, you get some things down the side and instructions across the bottom of your robotics. As long as you follow along with those instructions, you should be pretty good to go. Your first one says select and mark your nesting point. So your nesting point is going to be your point of reference for getting your rows lined up where you want them to be. I am just going to grab myself a little marking pencil here. Now, to select and mark your nesting point, I usually move my machine over and I use my crosshairs on my screen and I find a low point in my design. So the low point in this design is the bottom of this kind of big bubble here. So I'm gonna bring my crosshairs down to the bottom of that big bubble on my display and it's gonna be at the bottom of the big bubble that is stitched right here on my bear. You can't see it very well, but it's right there. So I'm just making sure the two things line up. And to mark my nesting point, I can use a chalk, chalk pencil or marking pen or anything that is tried and tested in my world that I feel safe with putting on my quilt top. I could just go in here and mark that point on my quilt. So if I feel comfortable with that, I can do that. The other thing you can always do is put your needle down into your fabric to mark that nesting point. And this is something I like to do a lot, that way I'm not putting marks on my quilt. So I'm actually gonna mark my nesting point by putting my needle into the fabric on that stitch line. So it says select and mark your nesting point. You can either do that with a marking pencil or pen or by putting your needle down into your fabric. I've put my needle down into my fabric, marking my nesting point. So I'm gonna come over here and hit my green check mark on the right hand side of my display. Now my robotic system says roll my quilt. So it is time to roll the quilt up. I'm gonna come over to my lock system and release my roller bars. And remembering that I have that needle in my fabric, I'm gonna be very careful and roll my quilt nice and slow so that I don't add any extra pressure on that point there where my needle is in my fabric. If you've used a marking pencil, you don't have to be quite as careful. I just like to take my time when I've got my needle in my fabric there. You wanna make sure you roll your quilt enough so that you have plenty of space to quilt your next row, but you also wanna make sure you have plenty of space behind your machine head before it hits the roller bar so that you don't end up with any um, errors because your machine has hit anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock here. Sorry, y'all are looking at my curtains for a second, doing this one-handed. And I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten my roller bar forward and lock here. So I've got plenty of space behind the needle and in front of the needle. So my row should fit just fine. So I am going to go ahead and hit my green check mark. 
Now my robotic system says move the machine to your nesting point. Now because I have my needle in my fabric, I'm already at my nesting point. But if you've used a marking tool and marked on your quill, you're going to need to hover your needle over this point just so that it's lined up. Because I'm already there and my needle's in my fabric, I'm going to go ahead and hit my green check mark. When I do that, you can now see two rows on your display screen. Your first row is this one up here that is kind of in gray, and that's the row you just quilted. That's already been done. The new row that appears is in black and has an orange layout box around it. That is the row that your robotic system is nesting. You can see that it's kind of put it in place with spacing in between it so that it looks nice and it may be according to how you've laid out your pattern um, when you did that originally in your edge to edge layout if you have multiple rows. So this looks pretty good here, but maybe you need to move your rows and you want more spacing or less spacing between them. You can do that from this screen. In order to do that, you need to make sure your needle is not in your fabric. So I'm gonna take my needle up and that way I can show you how to move your rows. The first way you can do it is by using this little button here that has the hearts on it. When you open that feature, it's going to give you a little keypad. Right now, the spacing between my rows is a negative 2.8, but maybe I wanna change that. Maybe I want negative 2.5. I can put that in my keypad and hit the check mark, and now there's a different spacing between my rows. I might wanna go back to negative 2.8, so I can open up my keypad again, type in negative 2.8, and hit my keypad again, and it's put the rows a little bit closer together. This is something that you might have a space in mind between your rows. Maybe you want your rows a half an inch apart. You can put that into the keypad. The other way you can change your distance between your rows is your little cross arrows here. If we open that feature, we can now move our machine forward and backward to change the distance between our rows. If I push my machine with the handlebars away from me, it's going to tighten my rows up and it's actually overlapped my designs. I don't want that. If I pull the machine towards me, I'm making more space between my rows. And that's just a little too much and I don't like that either. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this feature off and go back to my keypad because I really like that negative 2.8. And I'm gonna hit my check mark. Hmm, that didn't put it exactly back where I wanted it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just move them back into place where I thought it looked really good. This is something that you'll just work with to get the spacing exactly the way you like it with your nesting. Just remember, if you're moving your crosshairs with your little cross arrows here and moving back and forth and forward and back, you just wanna go on the vertical. Please try very hard not to go horizontally side to side because that could shift your rows and you might end up off of your quilt on one side and end up with no stitching on the other if you shift your row horizontally too much. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit our check mark here because I think the nesting looks really good. So I'm gonna hit my green check mark. This is nesting complete. And now I've got my new row in place all ready to stitch out. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hit my green dot up here knowing that my needle's engaged. And it's going through all the basic commands. I'm gonna hit my green check mark. We're gonna move over into place like we normally do. It's gonna pull up my bobbin thread for me. I'm gonna tell it I pulled my bobbin thread up. My machine's gonna move back into place and take its tie off stitches. And then my design's going to begin. I'll let this stitch out and then show you what it looks like when it's done. 
All right, we're at the end of our nested row. Everything's looking cute as can be, and I'm so happy with how this is turning out. Gotta love when a project does exactly what you want it to do. So I'm gonna continue my nesting process exactly the same. I'll hit those little hearts. I'll mark my nesting point, roll my quilt, go through everything row after row until my little quilt top is done. I really love that the robotic system has this feature available and takes all of the guesswork out of lining up those rows and getting them nested for you. This is a great feature to be able to use when you're doing those edge to edge designs and it really helps you get those edge to edge quilts done quickly. Thanks so much for joining me today and y'all have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you soon. <music>